Um, so the first thing I have to say is I just read about the death of Mike Nichols and um, it's kind of a surreal thing to see first thing in the morning. Um, he's such an amazing director and uh, he was a director that I loved before I knew I loved him because I used to obsessively watch Working Girl um, as, a, as a kid, Working Girl and Jumpin' Jack Flash and, and had that little fake um, cubicle that's very surprisingly similar to the cubicle I now work in. Um, so he meant a lot to me very early on and then I saw his more prestigious films although that was nominated for best picture mind you but like um The Graduate and and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf was just amazing he got such amazing performances out of people and um Carnal Knowledge and um Closer and The Birdcage and Wolf a very underrated horror movie with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer um and even his late his last film um Oh my god, that one with Tom Hanks and Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's really good. Um, so he will be he will be missed, but he's a talent that I'm glad we got to have in Hollywood. Sorry, my cat's being crazy. Um, so that said, this morning uh, I, I watched a 1954 noir called Highway Dragnet. And it was uh, Roger Corman's first story that he sold to anybody. He sold to allied artists. It starred Richard Conti, who you probably remember from like Thieves Highway, and uh, Joan Bennett, very, being a very sassy working lady, and Wanda Ben Hendricks, who I'm not sure if I've seen anything with her before, playing a um, a model. Um, and it's about a. So you start with the with Richard Conti. Um, getting into a, a slight altercation with a, a drunk retired model in a Las Vegas bar. Um, and the next thing you know, it's the next day and she's dead. And you're like, did he do it? I don't know. And he claims he didn't. And he goes on the run and he gets picked up by, as a hitchhiker by Joan Bennett and Wanda Hendricks. And at first they don't realize that he's maybe wanted. And then they find out that he is. And then you're like, mm. and then they end up in um, the Salton Sea of all places. Uh, it's all shot on locations like in Las Vegas, in Coachella Valley, in Salton Sea. It was one of those beautiful like sun-drenched noirs where instead of a ton of shadows, you just had like bright, blinding desert light the whole time. Um, I, it had kind of a predictable ending. Like you can, you can figure it out pretty quickly. Um, but it was enjoyable from start to finish. And and sort of surpri not surprising that it came from Roger Corman and you could really see where Roger Corman's career was going to go um, from from this. So, um, Highway Dragnet, quite good. Rest in peace, Mike Nichols.